Hello. Today we'll see about how we can execute Apex script from Postman. So I'm talking about the Apex script will, which will execute from the developer console. And in the anonymous window, I just want to execute some script here. So that same script, I want to execute this in Postman. So how we can do that, let's see. So this is the script which I'm trying to execute from the developer console. So if I click on execute, it will create a new account for me. And you can see this is the ID. And now I just want to execute this script from my Postman tool. So for that, we're going to use tooling API. So basically tooling API is something which will queue you the fine grained access to the orcs metadata so you can go through the documentation like when exactly we can use tooling api and there are some rest resource examples also and if you see here uh, there is one request where we can use this execute anonymous apex which will execute our apex script so i'm going to make use of this actually so here we have to give the anonymous body here so here they're trying to print a message here using system.debug the same way we'll try to execute the same script from the postman uh, so for that i'll go back to my postman and i'm gonna create a new request i'll just say i'll just save this first so i'll say as tooling api demo i'm gonna store it in this collection and first thing is the authorization so uh, I already have one connected up in my org and I'm going to use the same connected app and generate an access token. So here I'm, I'll try to generate an access token to my org. Yeah, I got my access token here. I'll just copy this. And uh, I'll paste it in the authorization section bearer token and I'll give the token here. As you can see in the documentation, this is a get request. So I'll, I'll make the uh, so the methods remains the same it is get and i'll copy the url so this is the url which we need to fit so i already have the copy which has the my domain appended to it so this is my url i'll go back here and i'll paste it here now here we have to provide our anonymous body so like i just copy this and i'll give this I'm going to execute this script from my postman here i'm going to pass the url and if i click on send now it usually throws error yeah now you can see it throws the error compiled is false and success is false and the compile problem is unexpected token and if i run the same script here it will execute uh, the reason for this is uh, like we have to convert that strings into the url encoded so basically url encoding is necessary like uh, like it will just replace the uh, some characters like replaces is equal to is replaced with percentile 3d something like that so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna convert the script which we want to execute i'm gonna make use of this tool which is available online so i'll execute this i'll copy this script now so you can see it, it uh, converted space with percentile 20. now i'm gonna copy this script and uh, i'll go back to postman again and i'll change the anonymous body and now i'll try to execute and before that uh, let's uh, see so i'll just click on send and you'll see once so you can see the success is true and compiled is true and there is no error actually there is no exception message and you can see a log got generated in my developer console and if i open this log and if i click on debug only and this is the account which got created now with the name text you can see i'll just open this account as well so this is the account which got created thanks for watching